Let's go. And here's where we're going. Or are we? Okay, we could use this formula, but I said this a couple videos ago. As I take the antiderivative of this, the integral of this, with integration by parts, this would become an x squared, and I would have to do integration by parts again. Then it would become x to the first. I have to integrate by parts again. It's a process within a process within a process. Let's use the table. So second time using the table, and we have three columns, and here they are. Sines, almost put sings. <laughs> then I have to sing the rest of the problem. And we're going to have u, and then the derivative. I don't know why I put a v there. u, and then the derivative of u, and then we keep on going with that. And then we're going to have dv and the integral of that, which would be v, and then we keep going with that idea. And we'll just start with u, which is x cubed. It's the thing that gets simpler the more you take the derivative of it most of the time. So x cubed, 3x squared, 6x, 6, 0, done. No more rows necessary. Okay? Signs always start with positive, then negative, then positive, then negative, then they always alternate. dv, this is going to get tricky, is sine of 2x. And just for reference, I'm going to write our little square of derivatives of trig functions. I'm going to write it up here. The derivative of sine is cosine. Is that showing up very well? Nope. Let's do it anyway. The derivative, nah, it's lame. Let's not. I don't like this marker. It doesn't show up very well. Let's use green. The derivative of sine is cosine. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. I'm doing this just so I can point and go fast on this. And there we go. We're back to there. So we are not going according to the arrows. We're going counterclockwise in this case. And that is going to be antiderivatives. So the antiderivative of sine would be negative cosine. So negative cosine of 2x, but wait. Okay. If you took the integral of this, which is technically what you're doing, it would involve u substitution. I would love to show all that work, but I'm not going to. Basically, I need the derivative of this to be this. If I took the derivative of this, I would have to multiply by 2, right? And that ain't going to work here. So to offset that 2, I need a 1 half. It's, it's a pattern that you'll begin to notice even more and more as you go. So the derivative of this, I'd multiply by 2 with that 2, 1 half, I mean, and it would give me the 1 right there. All right. So antiderivative of negative cosine would be negative sine 2x. But because of the chain rule, I would have to multiply by 2. Well, I don't want it to be a 2 there. I want it to be a 1 half. So this would be 1 fourth. I hope you notice the pattern. This is 1 over 1, that's 1 over 2, 1 over 4, the next one's going to be 1 over 8. Antiderivative negative sine is positive cosine. 2x, 1 over 8. Because if I multiply, if I took the derivative of this, I'd have to multiply by 2. 2 times 1 eighth would give me 1 fourth. And one more time, antiderivative cosine is sine. We're kind of back where we started in a sense. So sine, 2x, and 1 16th. Okay, we're ready. We're ready for our final answer. And our final answer is 1x cubed times negative 1 half cosine of 2x. Okay? It's this, this, this. It always goes, in, and then it drops down one, one row on the next one. Always does. Always. So final answer is positive x cubed times negative, so it's negative, negative 1 half x cubed cosine 2x. So far, we have more to go. All right, let's switch colors. That would be the red one. You don't have to color code them like I'm doing, but I'm going to. Let's do a green one. Negative 3x squared times negative 1 fourth sine of 2x. Okay, well, negative times a negative. We know where that's going. Positive 3 times a fourth is 3 fourths x squared sine of 2x. We're just putting things in the proper order as we go. So positive 3 fourths. So plus 3 fourths x squared sine of 2x. That one was green. <laughs> These lids, though. <laughs> All right, let's use the blue pen while we can. Positive 6x times 1 eighth cosine of 2x. 
I'm going to bring my answer to the next line over here. So positive 6, everything's positive, so it's positive, and then 6 eighths, that's 3 fourths. So plus 3 fourths x cosine of 2x. Okay, took care of the blue one. And then one more answer, and then plus c. And that final term is negative 6 times 1 16th. And that negative 6 over 16 is going to give me, let's reduce it, 3 eighths. So negative 3 eighths sine of 2x. So negative 3 eighths sine of 2x. And then plus c. And let's finish our color coding. There it is. I don't care for this marker. It's lame. There it is.